I'm delighted to be joined by Nick Nugent from Sponsors Golf Now. Nick, exciting times, challenging times that they have been over the last few months. Please, God, and I'm touching all available wood, we are returning to some sort of semblance of normality. Great to see you sponsoring here today. Are you pleased with the level of competition we yeah, have in Ocean? Absolutely. It's great to be back on a race course. You know, it's the first time as a sponsor we've been back on a race course now for nearly 18 months, and uh, the Lacken Stakes looks a competitive fixture there's plenty of golf graduates in that race so hopefully one of them will come out and win the race and today of course as you're well aware is dubbed royal ascot trials day at nason we're well used to that now being linked with a very important golf sale and we've got the black taxi here just to refresh <laughs> our memory about that how are things going is it going to go ahead yeah it, in a slightly different format we have a well for the last six or seven years we've held a sale in london in hyde park on the eve of royal ascot on the monday evening which has been enormously successful it's consistently sold the highest price horse in training sold at auction that year uh, this year we obviously abandoned it last year this year we decided to do it we always call it the goths london sale a sale like no other it's attended by the great and the good it isn't going to be possible to do a, a live sale with bells and whistles as we might have hoped in hyde park so we are going to do an online sale but rather like online sales have been we hope to elevate the way it's presented and do it as a sort of interactive online sale and over the next couple of weeks we're going to be fine-tuning our plans to present a really exciting sale four weeks tomorrow hopefully with some royal ascot contenders that we can sell to people to experience the excitement as well as other international racing prospects that's good to hear there might even be one or two perhaps that have been in action or will be in action here today and nick you mentioned the online sale it's something you guys have had to improvise with over the course of the last eight, nine months. Yes. How have you found it? Have you kind of refined it and fine-tuned it? Yeah, I mean, we have sold literally millions of euros worth of horses. I think that the Goffs online sale has proved to be very good. We have had sales when we have auctioned effectively talking like a newscaster, talking to an empty ring with uh, bids coming in online. We've done a timed online sale. We've done a standalone horse online sale. All of them have proved to be very satisfactory in terms of uh, for buyers and sellers. It's a good experience and our technology is good and we're going to incorporate that into the London sale on Monday the 14th of June. And I'm sure you've got one eye on the yearling sales a little bit later on as well. Exciting news in terms of bonuses for owners. Just tell yeah, us a little bit about yeah, more Yeah, that's about right, it. Gary. It's, uh, we're just really getting underway with our yearling inspections. The team is around and about now. For the uh, million sale, or for the Orby sale, we have reintroduced the Goffs Million. There's going to be a, a million euro race to be held at the Curra, just for graduates of that. And for the uh, sportsman sale, we're going to hold a 100,000 race here, here in Nace. Uh, for the graduates of that sale. You know, we, we, we had a tricky year last year. COVID probably got into the Goffs yearling sale in a way that it didn't get into everybody else's, and we're determined to bounce back bigger, better, and stronger than ever. That's great to hear. Hopefully things are going to move in the right direction from here. And more immediately, Nick, I suppose your next big sale is going to be the horses in training over at Doncaster. Well, it's not only and horse in training. We have stores as well. There's two days well. of stores. That starts uh, tomorrow, Monday. Uh, there's two days of stores, then there's two days of point-to-pointers and horses in training. And then Doncaster the following week is actually hosting the Arcana Breeze up sale that couldn't take place in Deauville. So there's a lot of uh, important horses to be sold there for a lot of Irish clients, uh, a lot of non-Irish clients as well, but people who buy our yearlings will be hoping to sell their Breeze up horses there. So there's a lot going on, followed by the Land Rover sale in Goffs and the London sale. So it's a busy four weeks ahead. That's good to hear. Great to catch up as always. Thanks for joining us and good luck with the race later Great on. to be back. Thank you, Appreciate Gary. It.